What's up you guys? I had to make this video because Tesla just announced a 5 for 1 stock split and I know a lot of people are going wild trying to buy Tesla after hours right now, getting ready to buy it first thing in the morning at 6.30 a.m. if you're on the west coast, uh, what is that, 9.30 if you're on the east coast. Uh, the point is this stock split is totally meaningless when it comes to company value, but Investors typically don't buy based on value, they buy based on price, and those habits need to die. Uh, when you go to the store, yes, you're buying price-based, but if a rotten apple is like the five times cheaper than a fresh apple, are you going to buy it because it's cheaper? No, you're gonna buy the fresh apple that costs more. Now, I'm not comparing Tesla to a rotten apple, but I'm saying a company is still exactly the same as it was before a stock split. Uh, you might pay $2 for an oh, amazingly large apple. I don't know why I picked apples. Everyone says pizza, but like, Let's let's get healthier, people, and let's eat more apples. Gods of death love apples. If you know that reference, like and sub below. By the way, welcome to my channel, Financialism, where we expand our wealth growth mindset, and usually I talk a lot about stocks on here. And today, let's dive into this stock split and why it doesn't matter at all. I know Apple just had their stock split. Maybe that's why I keep talking about apples because Apple just had their stock split. So if you buy a big old apple for $2 or you buy pieces of the apple, like, you know, it's chopped up like uh, back at school, they would give you apple slices. It's exactly the same thing. That's worth $2. That's worth $2. Would you pay a quarter for an individual slice or do you want the whole entire thing for $2? Either way, you get the same thing. Now, in the past, it was very tough for investors to actually buy a huge chunk of a company they believed in because they had to have the full dollar amount. For example, if Amazon was trading for $3,000 five years ago, good luck getting it. You need to have the $3,000. But today, stock splits are especially irrelevant because, well, on Charles Schwab, on Fidelity, on Robinhood, you can buy stock slices. However, here's why the Tesla stock uh, split is actually a little bit more relevant than the Apple stock split. Apple is in the S&P 500. Tesla, not quite. So not all platforms allow you to buy a piece of it. So Charles Schwab, for example, I believe you need to be in the S&P 500 to have fractional shares available. Tesla, uh, not there yet, like I just said. So on Robinhood, though, that doesn't matter. Not a lot of things matter on Robinhood, actually. People just buy, trade, flip, options trade, not knowing what they're doing, gambling, falling for Wall Street propaganda. But you know what? That's how lessons are learned. And if you're in a position of privilege, you know, why would you pay $1,000 to take a college class when you could pay $1,000 and lose it in the stock market and learn your lesson for the rest of your life? But hopefully you are still investing. Am I going to buy Tesla stock because of the split? Heck, I don't know. Probably not though, because fundamentally it does not change a thing. If you have one Tesla stock, uh, when this change happens, you will have five Tesla stocks. That's it. That's the difference. You have to own the stock, I believe, by August 21st. Let me double check that real quick. So I believe it's by August 21st that you have to have the stock split. And then after that, you have to wait until August 28th, which is where the um, actual split occurs. So if you bought your shares before the 21st, you are good. So you have some time to make that happen. I think that a lot of people will make that happen and that will artificially inflate the price of Tesla. Uh, these stock splits, they do nothing. And already after hours, we have a 6% boost. I know I'm talking fast and I'm excited because this is definitely exciting and it's meant to excite us. It's a psychological tactic. When we see prices change, we buy it. It's the same as if you had it 
your investments grow from like $5,000 to $15,000, you're like, wow, I just made $10,000. I'm so happy. But if your $5,000 investments grew to $25,000 and then dropped to $15,000, you still made the same $10,000, but you're a lot less happy. That's psychology. These companies know these psychological tricks and they're going to use them against you. Uh, so ultimately, this is big business making big moves and that's life, you know? So if you're getting manipulated by this, if you feel like you want to react and buy it quick now, ultimately, I don't think that's such a good idea, but I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy on the internet expressing his opinion, learning off of so many different sources. I watch every single YouTube video on so many financial topics. I read heck of books. I know not all of them are finance related, but with a bright enough imagination, I don't want to say the word bright, with a wide enough imagination, you can really narrow in and find something about every single topic that leads back to stocks and investing. And ultimately here, they're just hoping for a reaction. I see this more as a publicity move. So a lot of times when a stock is talked about a lot, you see the price increase uh, correlate with that. So Tesla, I mean, when they even broke the windows of their car, yeah, it went down 6%. But what happened right after that? It went hecka up. Because when you're talking about something, there's no such thing as bad publicity. Uh, except these days there might be. We got this whole cancel culture going on. But let's cancel reacting to stock splits. Can we do that, gang? Can we cancel reacting to stock splits? Okay. I, I think that's enough information. This is brand new. I'm trying to get this video uploaded quickly to prevent people from reacting to the stock market. Never react to the stock market. Your money does not control you. You control your money. I am done with this shaky as heck video. I will see you guys next time. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. By the way, if you want to watch another investing video, there's one right there. And there might be one right there. It was already there covering my face. See ya.